Okay, so here we go again. This is part two of our uh, survival world. Completely legit. We die, we can't fly, we need food. Okay, so here's our... This was our, our, our original place. Um, there's a railroad track that goes out because you're trying to find the ocean, right? Yeah, I was trying to find the ocean and the railroad, I never actually found it. I decided to stop the mill that ran out of gold and power and uh, rail and everything. Okay, oh, it's yeah. kind of a long way, but it's easier now just to take the nether portal. At the time, I didn't have another portal here, but. Okay, yeah, we won't bore them with our long uh, train track. But uh, we'll just go through the middle portal for now, because that's our quick way of getting around. Especially from this far. Here's our uh, here's the original house. This is our nether portal. Oops, that's a little glitchy. It's always glitchy for the nether portal. Here's our hell. Uh, we have uh, another fortress over there, but anyway. Oh, here already one. And we apologize, in the first video I, I accidentally didn't have the Minecraft sound on. Uh, we, so yeah, so sorry for that. So that's Chris, and he's my brother, and I'm Troy. So that's the original house, that's to close town. We kind of have a little nether system down here <laughs> for quick travel. But uh, the first thing we did, or Chris did, uh, here's, here's our original nether portal. But, uh, we got to get into it. Thanks, Troy. Okay, so that railroad track eventually gets to. Chris's first big project, oops, which was, oh great, which you can on there I see, but was, so this, so uh, the railroad track comes from way far away that way, and comes to this hotel, so, so three kilometer an hour max, and right beach house, uh, there's some things all around us, but I don't want to show you too much, but uh, yeah. Here's your fountain that you made. Yeah, this was kind of a natural flat area, mostly. It was mostly uh, stone, so I decided to excavate it a bit more and fully expand it. Then at this point the time was the biggest project that I ever even dreamt of. I had to collect all the cobblestone because that was the easiest for me to mine at the time. So mine for hours and then I built for a bit and then mine for hours. Do you, see, do you see the painting on the left hand side? I don't see it. Uh, it probably blew up. So this first thing, this looked huge for us. Because, uh, to start, this was your, like, kind of second big, major project. I never really even finished it ever, so I'm just back and finish it. Okay, since you do it, take us a little quick tour. The team did a bunch of time. This, this used to have waterfalls coming down. You can, yeah, this is our front desk, our reception area, and uh, hit the snow. Yeah, I remember you used to have a snowman in there. One time a spider uh, was in there, and then he crawled out and got me through this hole. Uh, I apologize for always looking around my back because uh, we don't like creepers blowing up or stuff. Can we show you the basement first? Because this is where I had to... Uh... Yeah, sure. Um, again, we use the DocuCraft uh, texture pack. What if originally in this little area here, I had some chests and stuff where I was doing things and while I was building, and, and then eventually I built this, which but... come down. At the time, this was, um, had everything all separated. You're over here and log dropping the food in there, and dyes, and sand, coal, and all that stuff in the furnaces. Yeah, this was our, our pretty much our main uh, storage supply until just recently. So this looked the time, big before. Everything. I didn't have an anvil. Uh, an anvil was a kind of recent addition from a recent update. So I didn't really have a place for it, so I just stuck it on top of my crafting table. Hey, we're 
all the rotten flesh go? Did you already move it? Well, it was full, but I, uh, I've been moving it to Ginger. our, our newest, uh, mm. like four times as big as this. Dogs around here. Our newest storage area. Yeah, this used to always be just single chests, but eventually it was double chests, uh, cobblestone, we started making stone, then bricks, and then we needed lots of brick, uh, chests. <laughs> so we just go through and challenge. Okay, um... Then I expanded this room at one point, but now it goes to... We, ex area we expanded this when we went to the nether for the first time, right? And we got some new material? Yeah, and then we came back with the nether... Luke the Variet. Variet was my old name. Luke the said used to say to uh, Spaz or Chris. This side, but now it's an underground tunnel. Okay, another portal. I hide my diamonds in here. I always keep obsidian. I always keep enough stuff for more another ender chest. I always keep on me. I always keep some wood, wood and stuff if I get stuck in some barren land. I have poison control and milk. <laughs> Oh, this is where I hide all my CDs. Oops. Or some CDs, anyway. This is a little all but... but anyway, that's another episode. Okay, so, uh... Okay, so we see your basement, which is your storage area. Oh, and I added some... When we got item frames, I was able to add those. <laughs> yeah, I think... Actually, Chris, in our new area, we should use item frames to, instead of saying dirt. We should show a picture of the dirt. Or we can do both. For us, on, when you do 100% legit survival mode, uh, we normally have these little patch kits all over. So, like around here, we have railroad and brick and clay around us and bricks. So we, uh, so you keep a little patch kit because when you get blown up by them creepers behind us, uh, then uh, then you can just fix what you uh, destroyed. I'm missing a couple lights I can see already from getting blown up that I never fixed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we see the front desk. We see the basement storage area. Now we're going on to your first level. This is the first uh, room, room 201, the first room that I ever made. It's funny that you made a big hotel for yourself. What a punk. <laughs> mm -hmm. For guests and stuff, I made a little bathroom in here. I like the look of wool, actually. The bathroom. Uh, this, by the way, um, this is actually shortly after you built this hotel. This is the room that you gave me to start, so I started, I came into your world, and you had this built already, and you said that um, until I build my own house, I can just stay in your room 201. So this was my original suite. <laughs> Want to make it daytime? Yes, we can sleep together one night. We have to both be sleeping to make it... Uh, I don't want to show up too much, but, uh, anyway. I had mostly oak wood, so I just did oak wood, uh, I just made it back here. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is room 201. This was my, my original room in the game, so I didn't have to, Chris didn't make me crawl in a thing of dirt. Oops. Sorry, it's a little laggy. He didn't make me go start from scratch and build my own house. These rooms are finish. still, I still have to finish them. You finished some of the higher ones, though, I thought. Okay, I guess we had a higher Here's another piece. level just of rooms. It's pretty similar. It's actually the exact same floor plan as the last one. Yeah. And here's Oops. And then if you come up another level, the fourth level. And when I first saw this, this looked so huge for me. Yeah, this was a cool armory. 
Oh, this one actually has working light. Oh, okay. Yeah, and for us to get glowstone and things like that, you have to go into the nether. No creative mode. And... Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. Survival mode really is a, is a, a test. Test your patience, that's for sure, every time you die. And but, where, I, where I always stayed was in the pentacles. Oh, you didn't want to show your other sweets? I thought you had some stuff in those. Um, I think I destroyed it since because it looked funny from me. At one point I had uh, a grow up. So you had me stay in your room 201 down there, and then you were up here in your pinto suite. 